Hey everyone, Cassie here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel for another video. Today we're going to take a look at the Arteza Iridescent Dreamer Tones paints. These are acrylic paints. They sent these to me to review and just kind of show you how they look and what they can do. Uh, and I'm going to use these from a card maker's perspective, so let's keep that in mind. But here are what the colors look like on the outside of the box. You're going to get 10 2 ounce tubes of acrylic paint. Okay, so let's pull this out of the box and we'll take a look at these bottles of the paint. Now keep in mind, because these are iridescent paints, what you see in the bottle might not necessarily look the same on the paper. Iridescent is meant to be kind of shimmery and shiny and it will reflect the light a little differently. So uh, you're gonna get the bottles like this and you're gonna, they're gonna come with a little topper. You're gonna need to peel that off. So what I suggest after you get the, the tops off is to swatch out your mediums. I suggest this with pretty much any medium that you might get because it might look different on various types of paper. Um, whether it be paint, acrylic paints, or whether it's like watercolor pencils. And then it's always a good idea to keep those swatches in like a separate book. So if you're looking for a particular color or product, you can always quickly go through. So here are all the bottles, all 10 of them. And I'm going to go ahead and swatch these out onto some white cardstock and also some black cardstock so that you can get an idea of how these look and how just vastly different they are from the white paper to the black paper. Isn't that interesting? I just love that about iridescent. So we're going to make a bunch of prints uh, and we're going to do that on jelly plates. I like to make prints because I'm a card maker and so I use these prints as a lot of backgrounds. I have an 8x10 jelly plate and I also have a 5x7 jelly plate and what I'm doing is I'm just putting the paint down and I'm using a brayer in those areas that I wanted to put the paint down and the 5x7 is basically just being used to clean off my brayer as I need it. I'll pull prints from it from time to time but those are mostly just going to be like just to put on paper and clean off the the 5x7 plate. So I'm just putting down some of those colors and the cardstock that I'm using today is just some Nina cardstock. It's not a heavyweight cardstock. It's just like a lighter, lighter weight cardstock. And then I am also going to be pulling in some black cardstock. Now it's not really actually a cardstock. It's just black paper that Arteza carries. You could do this on just about any kind of paper that you have. Copy paper. You could do it on watercolor paper. It'd probably be pretty cool on the texture. But we're going to just put that color down and then we're going to pick up our first print. So I'm rubbing, 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 and then I'm going to peel this back and show you what I've picked up. And it's pretty cool, very iridescent. So in that light, it's hard to see. And as you can tell, I don't clean off my plate very well or very often. And the reason I don't do that is because sometimes as you pick up other prints, whatever was left behind before will get picked up in the next print. So I've put down some pink and some yellow and more of like a turquoise green. I'm going to clean off my brayer a little bit on another piece of cardstock. And I'm also cleaning off the jelly plate at the same time. Uh, actually, I probably should have put down a little bit more paint. You don't want to put down a ton of paint. You do want it to be fairly thin, but mine might have been a little too thin. And then I am going to take the black cardstock and put that down. And you'll notice I put pink, yellow, and blue and it's not going to look like that because on black, it just looks different. It's a really cool print, but it looks very different. So it's not like a rainbow. So we'll do this again. And this time I'm going to add a little bit more paint. And this time I'm going to put it on the white cardstock. So I'll start at the top with the pink and try and brayer that out really well and make it nice and thin. Move down to my yellow and kind of get those to mix a little bit. And then I'll move down to that turquoise green and get that to mix with the yellow also. Now with these jelly prints, you could bring in different household items or whatever you might have, stencils. I'm bringing in some bubble wrap. That's like my favorite thing to use when using my jelly plate because it adds this neat texture and bubble wrap is just something that <laughs> is so inexpensive. And so there's our first pull. Sorry about that light. Uh, and you'll notice that I still have a lot on my plate, but I'm not cleaning that off. I like it. And we're going to add color again, but this time we're going to bring in some orange. And it, the yellow ends up getting kind of lost, which is fine. It mostly ends up being like the orange and the green, which is okay with me as I keep going back and forth. 
but remember I had all that underneath those colors so it is going to pick up some of that as well. I'm bringing in these little jelly texture plates. If these are available somewhere I will have them linked down below but I've had these for a number of years not sure if they still make them or if they're around but they're pretty neat because it's just a fun way to add texture and then I'll put down a piece of the white cardstock and I'll pull this next print. It's nice and vibrant and super pretty. Some of my prints I really like, some I don't. And now I'm putting down some white and I'm going to put it down with some purple as well. Now the white isn't, it looks white, but it's actually a blue. Uh, if I were to do this on the white cardstock, it would turn out white, but it's meant to be blue on the darker cardstock. So you'll notice that when I pick up my print. It looks white and purple, but then I'll put down some of that black paper and it's all going to come up looking purple and blue. Very cool. Love how that looks. It's super neat. All right, so now we're going to bring in that black. I want to see what I can do with the black. I'm going to put down a nice wash all over the front of my jelly plate. And then I'm going to bring in some little pieces for texture. So we'll bring in that one of the texture plates, put that all over that background. I'm even going to bring in the bubble wrap again, and then we'll bring in our paper. Now, as I pick that stuff up with the, with those like jelly plate or the um, jelly texture things and the bubble wrap, I'm taking that and I'm also wiping that on other prints that I've already done. Now this, it looks brown, but is actually supposed to be more of a red if you use it on the darker cardstock. I wanted it to be brown because I wanted to see if I could add some like a vintage look or maybe make things look a little grungy. So I'm going to once again, add some bubble wrap to it. And then I'm, like I said, taking that bubble wrap and wiping it on other prints. And then I'm just kind of randomly picking up some of that brown. And now we're going to do rainbow order. Just going through all the way from top to bottom using all the rainbow colors because mama likes rainbows. <laughs> and then we, we will just brayer that out. You could bring in stencils if you wanted to, anything from your stash that you might have. Household items, make your own stencils out of cardboard, whatever you want to do. And then I am going to pick this up. At the end of this, we'll show all of the prints that I ended up making. Some I like, some I don't, but that's pretty neat. I like that one a lot. I did it again, and this time we're going to add some black to the 5x7, and I'm going to see if I can grunge up the edges or distress them up. And I'm not loving this right now. Not loving how that looks because you're really getting those brayer marks, and it looks a little bit harsh. Not what I was really going for. So I am going to wipe that off, and then I'm going to just see if I can soften that a little. And I, I'm able to. I lose some of the color, but... This was one of my favorite prints too. So I really do like that. So there are our swatches one more time. So let's go ahead and take a look at the prints I did pull. On the black, it looks really neat. So keep that in mind. If you're gonna pick up these paints, maybe grab some black paper to go with it uh, because they look vastly different on black than they do on the white. But this one was one of my absolute favorite prints. I will definitely be using that on some cards. Love this one too. Very happy with how most of them turned out. Um, not Like I said, not all of them are my favorites, but pretty fun. So would I suggest these paints? Absolutely. If you are somebody who just likes to experiment or if you do enjoy painting, these are some fun acrylic paints to get uh, as long as you keep in mind that they're going to look different on different colors of cardstock. And there you have it. That's my one that I cleaned off my 5x7 with. So if you liked this video, be sure to hit that like button and consider subscribing if you haven't already done so. I'll have everything that I use linked down below in the description box, so be sure to hit that. And as always, I will see you very soon in another video. Bye, everybody.